What is the condition when a blood clot forms in a deep vein of the lower extremities or the pelvis? Deep vein thrombosis. What is inflammation of the outer covering of the wall of the heart? Pericarditis. What is the diagnosis of a patient who presents to the emergency department with a cold foot and a black toe? Gangrene. What is the approximate therapeutic range of digoxin for patients in heart failure? 0.8 to 2 nanograms per milliliter. What is the test that measures the electrical activity of the heart? Electrocardiogram, EKG. What is the treatment for asymptomatic bradycardia? No treatment. Monitor the patient and document the vital signs in the record. A patient whose heart rate changes from 72 to 51 and blood pressure changes from 110 over 84 to 89 over 64 may be treated with atropine or transcutaneous pacing. What is one of the greatest concerns of digoxin toxicity? Cardiac arrhythmias. In a patient with a myocardial infarction and a new onset decrease in urinary output, Despite adequate fluid intake, the nurse should suspect acute renal failure and the healthcare provider should be contacted. How should blood pressure be monitored in a patient receiving intravenous nitroglycerin? Continuous blood pressure monitoring with an arterial line. What is blood pressure less than 90 over 60? Hypotension. What is the most common treatment for cardiac arrhythmia? Beta blocker. A traditional cardiac glucoside used to treat heart failure. Digoxin. How does digoxin treat heart failure? Increasing contractility. What arrhythmia can digoxin effectively treat? Atrial fibrillation. What organ metabolizes digoxin? Kidney. In a patient diagnosed with myocardial infarction and crushing chest pain, priority should be given to giving what medications? Morphine and oxygen. A patient who had a myocardial infarction 48 hours ago now has a new murmur. The nurse should consider what new cardiac abnormality? Papillary muscle infarction. True or false? Administration of intravenous nitroglycerin necessitates the use of an infusion pump. True. What drug toxicity involves seeing yellow halos around lights? Digoxin. What are some neurological symptoms of digoxin toxicity? Weakness, confusion, and confusion. In a patient diagnosed with myocardial infarction, what laboratory result is diagnostic? Troponin. In a patient with a myocardial infarction 48 hours ago who has a new murmur, the nurse should assess a change in vital signs and sudden deterioration. A diagnostic study that involves injecting dye into the coronary vessels using an x-ray allowing the cardiologist to diagnose coronary artery disease. Angioplasty. What are some visual symptoms associated with digoxin toxicity? Sensitivity to light or photophobia, double vision or diplophobia. A condition resulting when the inner lining of the aorta is torn, resulting in blood entering the layers the wall of the aorta, potentially resulting in rupture. Aortic dissection. What electrolyte must be carefully monitored and maintained within the normal range when a patient is on digoxin? 
potassium. What are signs of acute and chronic digoxin toxicity? Gastrointestinal symptoms such as abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. What two types of medications may increase digoxin levels? Antibiotics and NSAIDs. Deep vein thrombosis. What is the condition when a blood clot forms in a deep vein of the lower extremities or the pelvis? Pericarditis. What is inflammation of the outer covering of the wall of the heart? Gangrene. What is the diagnosis of a patient who presents to the emergency department with a cold foot and a black toe? 0 0.8 to 2 nanograms per milliliter. What is the approximate therapeutic range of digoxin for patients in heart failure? Electrocardiogram, EKG. What is the test that measures the electrical activity of the heart? No treatment. Monitor the patient and document the vital signs in the record. What is the treatment for asymptomatic bradycardia? Atropine or transcutaneous pacing? A patient whose heart rate changes from 72 to 51 and blood pressure changes from 110 over 84 to 89 over 64 may be treated with cardiac arrhythmias. What is one of the greatest concerns of digoxin toxicity? Acute renal failure and the healthcare provider should be contacted. In a patient with a myocardial infarction and a new onset decrease in urinary output, despite adequate fluid intake, the nurse should suspect continuous blood pressure monitoring with an arterial line. How should blood pressure be monitored in a patient receiving intravenous nitroglycerin? Hypotension. What is blood pressure less than 90 over 60? Beta blocker. What is the most common treatment for cardiac arrhythmia? Digoxin. A traditional cardiac glucoside used to treat heart failure. Increasing contractility. How does digoxin treat heart failure? Atrial fibrillation. What arrhythmia can digoxin effectively treat? Kidney. What organ metabolizes digoxin? Morphine and oxygen. In a patient diagnosed with myocardial infarction and crushing chest pain, priority should be given to giving what medications? Papillary muscle infarction. A patient who had a myocardial infarction 48 hours ago now has a new murmur. The nurse should consider what new cardiac abnormality? True. True or false. Administration of intravenous nitroglycerin necessitates the use of an infusion pump. Digoxin. What drug toxicity involves seeing yellow halos around lights? Weakness, confusion and confusion. What are some neurological symptoms of digoxin toxicity? Troponin. In a patient diagnosed with myocardial infarction, what laboratory result is diagnostic? A change in vital signs and sudden deterioration. In a patient with a myocardial infarction 48 hours ago who has a new murmur, the nurse should assess 
angioplasty. A diagnostic study that involves injecting dye into the coronary vessels using an x-ray allowing the cardiologist to diagnose coronary artery disease. Sensitivity to light or photophobia, double vision or diplophobia. What are some visual symptoms associated with digoxin toxicity? Aortic dissection. A condition resulting when the inner lining of the aorta is torn, resulting in blood entering the layers the wall of the aorta, potentially resulting in rupture. Potassium. What electrolyte must be carefully monitored and maintained within the normal range when a patient is on digoxin? Gastrointestinal symptoms such as abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. What are signs of acute and chronic digoxin toxicity? Antibiotics and NSAIDs. What two types of medications may increase digoxin levels? What is the treatment for asymptomatic bradycardia? Atropine or transcutaneous pacing? Continuous blood pressure monitoring with an arterial line. No treatment. Monitor the patient and document the vital signs in the record. Electrocardiogram, EKG. No treatment. Monitor the patient and document the vital signs in the record. What is the most common treatment for cardiac arrhythmia? Atropine or transcutaneous pacing? Beta blocker. Digoxin. No treatment. Monitor the patient and document the vital signs in the record. Beta blocker.